It was summer when I first met Slip and Jimmy. Back then, I was nothing but a three-time loser. Felt like it was my destiny to let the world walk all over me. I was a problem child, a troublemaker. And eventually, they started sending me to Camp Reformation. And it was during my third stint, I used to love watching the fresh meat arrive. They were always so nervous, like lost children looking for their mommies. But Jimmy, Jimmy was different. Welcome to Camp Reformation. You are hoodlums, miscreants, and other assorted scum. Here we know what to do with hoodlums, miscreants, and assorted scum. We make them work. <laughs> as long as we don't have to work as hard as that belt. <gasps> <clears throat> the nerve of that kid. I couldn't wait for this camp to take him down a peg. You will have your deviant instincts beaten out of you through the age-old curative of Hard labor. Think he'd share if we asked him real nice? This isn't summer camp, new kid. Keep your head down and do the work. Yes, boss, and no boss. Especially around carrots. You got it? <laughs> yes, boss. Less yap yap and more chop chop! Hey, I got a question. What are we chopping these trees for? We building Fort Karras or something? You're building character! Darn. Here I was hoping it was a bridge I could jump off of. Problem, McGill? Nope. No, boss. You know, I'm thinking you ought to work through dinner tonight. Just to be sure. Huh? Ah! Ow, 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 ow. Help! It fell on me! Help, please! It barely touched you. That's not what I'm gonna tell my parents when they ask me why I have a limp. Fine. Go to the infirmary. Ah. As for the rest of you looky loos, back to work! So, how's the ankle? Oof, I don't know. Thinking I might need to keep it elevated tomorrow, too. You know, they made us chop down extra trees since you were hurt. Yeah, well, that's a lot of trees. Yeah, it is. And some of us have been busting our butts for weeks out there. And day one, you think you can just get out of work? Pretty sure I did get out of it. Ah, you just think you're so much better than everybody else, don't you? Your time's gonna come. <laughs> don't hate me. Hate that ice cream teasing buttface Karis. He's the one making you chop trees. I wanted a break. I took a break. You can take what you want, too. Nobody's stopping you. Lights out! Good chat. Night. It seems we have a weasel in our midst. Somebody had a little fun last night and tried to break into my cooler. Those ice cream sandwiches are mine. Fortunately for the rest of you, I already know the culprit. James McGill. I don't know what you're talking about, boss. I read your file, you thief. They caught you red-handed at your last school trying to steal whiteout. It's worth a mint on the white market. <laughs> Confess, McGill. There's no point in arguing. I know it was you. Sorry, boss. Couldn't help myself. Guess I'm a sucker for ice cream. Come with me. Push the boulder up to the top. Then carry it down ten times. Isn't that a little Kafka-esque? No, 
It's Sisyphean. And now it's 20 times. Up and down. Look. Now it's 30 times. You are not talking your way out of this, McGill. <sighs> Wouldn't dream of it. Fourteen. Nearly halfway through. Had enough? No, boss. Hey, can I help you? I gotta come clean. It was me. I tried to steal the ice cream. Yeah, I figured. Well, why didn't you just say something? I mean, you didn't need to take the rap for me. Wouldn't have mattered. Karis wanted it to be me, so it was me. Thanks. I'm Marco, by the way. Marco Pasternak. <clears throat> Jimmy McGill. So, did you actually get the ice cream? Nah. I got all the way to the cooler, and then I tripped a motion sensor. Karis came out so fast, I barely got away. <sighs> it was a dumb plan. I just wanted a win. You still want that ice cream? You know what you're doing, right? I mean, weren't you sent here because you got nicked on a B&E? Shh, get down. They only caught me once. That first step is where the light went off. Copy that. Huh. Gotcha! Uh -huh. Huh? Stupid squirrel. Huh. Shockies! Mm. Really time for that squirrel-proof fence. Okay, I think we're good. Whoa! Yeah, he seemed like a one, two, three kind of guy. Wait, take off the wrappers and put them back. Then, we'll chew up the cord and kill the freezer. Here's how I see it. In the morning, Karis will be all like... It's time, it's time for a little ice cream. What? What in the name of Simon the Zealot? He'll think one of the squirrels got to it. No rappers are missing, so he'll be none the wiser. Ah! Oh, that's genius. <laughs> if a crime falls in the woods and it doesn't make a sound, did it even happen? Ah, Jimmy, wait! Oh, thanks. <laughs> the heist worked, of course. There was nothing Jimmy couldn't do. Nostrovia! Now, it may have just been an ice cream sandwich, but to me, it was everything. It was friendship. It was freedom. And it was only the beginning.